I am very excited because I'm gonna show the result of a sales contest to the staff and here I have the top 5 people that I want to reward. But I don't want the other ones to be upset at me. I want to show the top 10 and also the top 15 so I can also tell them thank you because all of them contributed to this arrow going up, not just this cartoon who's trying to push it up. Now how to do this? Let me show you from scratch. We start with our data set and what I want to do first is transform this into Excel tables. If you have never heard of Excel tables, you are losing so much. They are very powerful. But what I want to tell you now is that you can think about them like databases. So I'm going to transform this into a database. I'm going to do insert and this is the table. So you have to select anywhere inside and you can just click here or do control T. This is the data. My table has headers. Perfect. This is the first one. Let's just call it data. Enter. Let's do the same. Control T here. Press OK. And this is lookup. Press enter. Now that we have our tables, it's time to put them in the data model. Now don't be stressed. This is something very simple. Click on the first one and go to power pivot, add to data model. Let's close this fancy IT window and do the same for this one. And now you have your two tables. I just want to show you something, the diagram view. This is the first one and this is the second one. And those are the columns. Now the quiz is, should I create a relationship between those two tables so I can get my results? Feel free to pause the video, write yes or no in the comment section. I'm just curious to see what you think. Now the answer is, you should not do anything. So just close this and the way we're gonna connect those two tables is with measures. Because I don't have any field that is the same in both tables. So to create measures, we just click here, new measure. We are gonna create four of them, so don't panic. We start with the easiest one. The easiest one is the value selected by the user in this table. So we're just gonna select the lookup table and here we're gonna write lookup selection. Let's come here and do min of top n. So this is top n, it's in my lookup table, close parenthesis. You're gonna look at me and say, why min? Well, what if I have a naughty user and the person selects two values? In this case, I'm gonna take the smallest value and I'm gonna show it in the chart. Press OK, done. The second measure is also very simple. I want to sum the sales. So here it is in my data table. We are gonna call it sum sales. And we are gonna do sum. Let's write sales. It's here. Double click, close parenthesis. Let's format it a little bit. No decimals and 1000 separator. The third one is a little bit more complicated, but to simplify it, the idea is rank the people by their total sales. The total sales, I just calculated it in the second metric. So let's go and do the ranking. New measure and we're gonna call it rank sales. We're gonna use a formula called rank x. Open parenthesis, you have some parameters. The table should be by person's name and you can see that the person's name could be repeated in this table. So how to get rid of this problem? I can use something called all selected and here I want the name. So by doing this, I am saying I want all the selected names and they should be unique, comma, I want it by sales. So that's the expression. Remember, we just had it before in the second metric. Come on. The value, I'm not going to do anything, but for the order, I want descending because the top person has the most sales. I'm not going to touch the ties, close parenthesis, press OK. So this is the ranking. The last one we have to do is whether I have to include the person in my chart or not. So remember, with the third metric, I just rank the people 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, etc. Now, for example, if a person selects 5, any person who's ranked from 1 to 5 should be included. So that's an if statement. So let's click on measures, new measure, include selected, 
and here we're gonna do if what is the rank we just calculated it you can see here with this icon rank sales smaller or equal to my selection which is my first metric so if you type selection you have lookup selection if it is one two three four five and i selected five i want to put a one otherwise zero simple if statement press ok we are done with those measures so now you can just breathe and relax now you can see me on the street begging you if you can just like this video and subscribe to the channel it would mean the world to me and i would know that you love this content and i can continue doing things like this i'm gonna show you how everything comes together by adding a pivot table so to add a pivot table insert pivot table from data model if you don't see it like this you might have a different version of excel just look for this one so we're gonna put it in an existing worksheet press ok and there we go let's add here the name and let's add our metrics so that's one two and three there we go let's just move to the right a little bit so you can see we don't need to see all the data and notice what is happening i'm just going to sort it by sales you click here you can do more sort options descending you select the sum sales which is this column press ok and there we go you can see the sales everybody is ranked and the first five have a one now i need to add my slicers because this is how i'm gonna select so here you have top n right click add a slicer this is the slicer perfect so now if i just move a little bit if i select 10 you can see the ones are more 15 it goes down to the 15th person now it's time to add the chart i'm just gonna remove the rank sales and i'm gonna add a chart so this is my rank sales bye bye we're gonna add a chart click inside your pivot table insert let's select a chart and this is my chart now you notice that the chart is not looking good at all so let's clean it quickly right click here hide all field buttons click on this one delete you have to click on the grid line so i click two times here but slowly one after the other then delete and here i have all those names i'm just gonna bold them so home bold let's bold also this and let's add data labels if you add data labels you can see that i have the zeros and the ones i don't want the zeros so how do i get rid of them just come here value filter equals and here you want include selected one so now you filter your pivot table by only the ones that you want to have and you have this effect now let's click here just change the colors and we have a problem that we have now a series with one and the numbers so if i just move the chart a little bit down those are the ones how to get rid of them just right click here format data series let's put the overlap to 100 so now the data will be on top of each others if you see we only have one column now the gap width i'm gonna put it to 50 so just to make it a bit nicer those are bigger and you have still the ones that you can see here to get rid of them just click on them and color them the same color as this bar and now you have your effect just click everything comes in no time 